Good day everyone, this is your Tycoon News for March 2015. This time we'll be covering the release of City Skylines, Prison Architect coming to mobile, and the closure of Max's Emeryville office. The highly anticipated City Skylines has been out since March 10th. The game has been well received by the city building community, particularly due to Colossal Order's commitment to keeping the game moddable. Included with the game is a map editor, an asset editor which you can use to import your own models, and an integration with the Steam Workshop, which allows for users to share maps, cities, buildings, interchanges, and gameplay modifications. Already there are mods that allow the entire 10km by 10km region to be unlocked for building, many visual tweaks or useful tools added to the user interface, and of course, removal of the infamous Chirpy Bird. A version of Prison Architect is now running well on Apple and Android tablets, and soon the Introversion team will be running beta tests for the mobile version of the game. You can sign up on their mailing list if you're interested in becoming a tablet tester. Along with porting the game over to mobile, the team still found some time to add some new features to the 30th Alpha release. Players now have more control over the prisoner intake using sliders to adjust the security levels. There are some adjustments to the parole system making it flow a little better. And a new wire tidy mode is available for those particular about their data networks. The free USA DLC has been added on to Train Fever, which starts the player in 1850 America. More than 50 new trains, buses, streetcars, and trucks will be included in the pack, as well landscapes and towns have been modified to match the Wild West theme. The new vehicles, 15 of which were contributed by modders, have been developed using the blueprints and photographs of the original vehicles. The content can be downloaded on Steam for free, but as the modding system of the game has been reworked, the Train Fever team recommends using a clean install if you already have other mods installed. After taking a break to finish his bachelor's thesis and get married, Anselm Ekhoff is back to developing Citybound full-time. Recent work has focused on traffic flow, sorting out how cars will behave at intersections and traffic lights, changing lanes and avoiding obstacles. Now Anselm and Michael will be expanding on the game as a whole again. The team has been closely watching the city skyline's deployment and are taking careful notes on how players interact with the game. If you have any suggestions, head over to Citybound's subreddit linked in this video's description. Atari has shown some gameplay footage of Roller Coaster Tycoon World in a recent trailer. The biggest response from fans is concern about the outdated looking graphics and cartoonish style, noting that there has been little improvement since the last title in the series, Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 from 2004. In a recent development blog, it was stated that the launch of the game will likely not have modding support or the ability to add game assets. These features will be provided as a free update sometime after release. The Emeryville Maxis Studio, which created the most recent SimCity title, has been shut down. Electronic Arts will be consolidating Maxis development to the EA HQ office in Redwood City, where development of The Sims 4 will continue. Electronic Arts acquired Maxis in 1997 when the company was struggling to finish SimCity 3000. While some have put the blame on EA for the decline of the developer, I'd like to remind myself that without EA supporting the company, we'd likely have never seen SimCity 3000, SimCity 4, The Sims, nor Spore. These games were flawed in many ways, but it's hard to criticize a company that experiments with its production instead of simply following the industry standard. Growing up with Maxis games, they'll always hold a special place in my memories, and I wish the former Maxis team good luck moving forward with their careers. Brian Shannon, a 3D artist formerly known as Maxis Slime, has run a successful Patreon campaign to fund full-time creation of new buildings for City Skylines. His new assets can be found under Gula on the Steam Workshop. If you'd like some more in-depth discussion about these types of games, check out Nonlinear, my new podcast on YouTube and iTunes. If there's any game you'd like to see in Tycoon News, feel free to email me at writezat at gmail.com or follow me on Twitter at zat. Thanks for watching and take care.